From their electron configurations, one can predict that the geometric configuration for which of the following molecules is not correct. So, best thing to do for this one, just for sake of uh, illustration, is to draw all of these. So you can see, again, a review of how to draw Lewis structures and then how to assign them different shapes. And we're going to find that one of these is not going to work. So let's start with PF3. So PF3, that's got five valence electrons for the P and then 21 for the F7 each. 7 times 3 is 21. So we've got 26 total electrons. So let's go ahead and put in our P, put in our F. We're going to draw it like they suggest, trigonal planar, but it may not turn out to be that way. I'm just drawing it that way for now, just for simplicity. Okay, let's complete the octets of the Fs. So six around each of those. And then P needs two more to complete its octet. And now let's confirm we've got the right number of electrons. Well, we've got six here, six and six is 18. Two more is 20. Each of these bonds contains two, so 22, 24, 26. So, yep. So this is the structure. Now, what is the shape? Now, notice it has three bonds, but it has an unshared pair. So actually, this is not the right picture for it because the unshared pair is going to push the F bonds down. I'll just draw it like this, like so. And this is the trigonal pyramidal shape, trigonal pyramidal. And it's derived from the tetrahedral. You can imagine if we had, you know, another F here, if we, you know, if we could do that, this would just be tetrahedral. So, right, so this is not the right shape. This is not trigonal planar. So this is our answer. But like I said, let's just check the rest. CF4. So C has four and each F's have seven. So we get 28 was 32. Uh, okay, so we got C, F. F, F, and F. Put in our electrons to complete the octets. Notice carbon already has a full octet, so we're done there. Now let's count the electrons. Each F has six, so six, 12, 18, 24, one, two, and plus four bonds at two electrons each. 24 plus eight is 32. So this is the correct shape. Notice this is gonna be tetrahedral. It's four bonds to a central atom. So that one, uh, choice B is correct. CHCl3. Okay, well, I'm not going to draw this one because you get the idea. This is going to be the exact same tetrahedral shape as CF4 because it's four things bonded to C. But as they say here, it will be irregular because all the uh, substituents are not the same. We've got one H and three CLs. So that one is correct. OF2. So six electrons for O. We got seven each for F. So we got 20 total. Uh, what do they suggest? Bent? Okay, we'll draw it as bent for now, but again, well, we know that's going to be right, but, uh, you know, if we didn't know that would be right, we would just draw it in terms of bent just to start out. So we put six electrons on each of these guys to complete the octet. Oxygen has two bonds, so he needs four more. Let's count. Six here and six here is 12, plus four more is 16. Two for each of the bonds gives us indeed 20. So this is the right uh, picture, and notice it's bent because we've got two Fs, but then two unshared pairs, and that's going to push what would be linear normally into a bent configuration. Again, it's tetrahedral derived, uh, so that one is good. HF is linear. I'm not even going to draw that one. You know that it's two things. The only way they can be connected is in a linear fashion, so of course that's right. So the answer here is A. That's just a review of drawing your Lewis structures. Um, one other way to do this is just remember what's what. You know that P and N compounds bonded to the three things generally do trigonal pyramidal, whereas carbon bonded things uh, usually do um, tetrahedral, especially when there's four things attached to them. Uh, obviously, two things together are linear, and this guy is either going to be linear or bent. You just got to determine what it's going to be based off of the uh, electron distribution. Notice this is a lot like H2O, which you probably remember H2O is bent. The only difference is we have F2O in some ways. Uh, and of course, they're going to be the same, both be bent. Uh, so the only one that doesn't fit here, the only one that doesn't work is PF3. It's not trigonal planar, it's trigonal pyramidal.